Hello everyone. So today we will discuss mathematics graded assignment two question number one. Okay. So consider the following lines C one and C two, which are given to us. So y by three equal to x by three plus one and y by three equal to minus x by three plus one. First we will write this equation of line in a simplified form. Y equal to mx plus c type. Y equal to three taking three on the right hand side. Three x by three plus three. This three three will get cancelled, and y equal to x by three will remain. Okay, so here also three will get there. So y equal to minus x plus three. Okay. Let what is the second condition? Let C three be a straight line which is perpendicular to C two. Okay. So let us write here C one y equal to x plus three. C two y equal to minus x plus 3 okay c3 is perpendicular to c2 and y intercept is 4 okay c3 slope equal to minus 1 upon slope of c2 okay what is slope of c2 slope of c2 is minus 1 so slope of C three equal to minus one by one minus one that is one, okay, and y intercept is four. So the equation of line y equal to x plus four, which is C three. So we can check that when x equal to zero, it gives y intercept as four. Okay, we got all the three equations. Now let us see what is the ask. What is ask? Let S one to be set of points of intersection of C one and C two. Okay, C one is y equal to x plus three, and C two is y equal to minus x plus three. For C one and C two, we have to directly equate the equations y equal to x plus three equal to minus x plus three. We can get that two x equal to zero implies x equal to zero. Putting x equal to zero in y equal to x plus three. Or y equal to minus x plus three, we will get that y equal to three. So the intersection point of C one and C two is the set that is point zero comma three. What is set S two? S two is the set of points of intersection of C one and C three. C one is y equal to x plus three, and C three is y equal to x plus four. Okay. So y equal to x plus three equal to x plus four. We can see that these lines never intersect, as both x are being cancelled from both sides of the equation. So S two is a null set. So What is set three? Set three to be the set of all points of intersection of C one and C two, or C two and C three, or C one and C three. Okay. So set S three is union of intersection, union of points of intersection of C one and C two. Union set of points of intersection of C two and C three. Union. Set of points of intersection of C one and C three. We know that the set of point of intersection of C one and C two is set one, which is zero comma three. Zero comma three. Okay. Union C two and C three. Okay. C two is minus x plus three, and C three is x plus four. So two x equal to minus one. X equal to minus one by two. Comma y equal to three minus minus one by two, which is equal to equal to seven by two. So the intersection point will be minus one by two comma seven by two. Intersection point of C one and C three is null set. So S three will be set of points zero comma three and minus one by two comma seven by two. Now what they have asked? Inter cardinality of S one and 
S3. S1 you name S3. Okay. S1 is equal to 0, 0,3 and S3 is this. So on taking union, you can see that on we can, we get S1 union S3 equal to 0, 0,3 and minus 1 by 2, comma 7 by 2. So the cardinality of S1 union S3 is equal to 2. Hence the answer of this question is 2. Thank you.